good morning students so in the last class we studied about the stem and the root function in this class we are going to study one important part of the plant which is flower flower is the reproductive part of the plant so here so what is reproduction means what is the repro word with reproduction means reproduction means produ production of young ones or offsprings so how how is it important it is important for continuity of life so in plants the reproductive part is flower all the other parts the stem the root are the vegetative parts so plants can reproduce both in uh, by sexual reproduction or by the vegetative propagations so flower is necessary for the sexual reproduction in plants so it creates diversity in the plants so to understand more about it first we should know about flower and its part so for that we will study today about this shoe flower so the parts which i am going to show will be present generally in all the flowers sometimes they may be hidden sometimes they may be easily visible so in shoe flower it is easy to see them so that's why we are using remember children when whenever you are using uh, flower to study its part never use chrysanthemum or marigold because it is not a single flower it is an aggregate flower that means a group of flowers so you will learn about all those things in higher classes so here the the first part which is uh, the pedicel so what is pedicel it is the part of the plant uh, flower plant which is attaching your flower okay so this pedicel it is called pedicel or stalk so through pedicel or the stalk the flower is attached to the branch of the plant so now the exact point at which the pedicel is attached to the flower is known as receptacle now children have you seen the buds you must have seen the buds of flower in the buds of the flower this green leaf like structure is more prominent isn't it this green leaf like structure is present both in the bud and the flower bloom flower which is well bloomed so this leaf like structure protects the inner parts of the flower and is known as sepals so see here children how there are many sepals but they are joined together remember this they are joined they are not separate they are joined this leaf like structure is joined to one another so this will help you what is the relation why i am telling you i'll tell you when i'm teaching you the petals so this green leaf like structure i am putting a, using a needle this needle to cut it we have to do it very carefully so that we don't harm the inner parts of the flower so this green leaf like structure in the plant protects the inner parts of the flower and is known as sepals so see the sepals the leaf like structure are the sepals of the flower it protects the inner parts now what are these brightly colored parts of the flower called these are called petals now you see here in this flower the petals are not joined you can separate they are separate isn't it they are brightly colored and separate so i told you there is a relation between the sepals and the petals so if the sepals of a flower are joined then the generally the petals are separate and if sepals are separate generally petals are joined so children there are always exception in science so this is general rule not always so this petals you see in different flowers different colors are there so these are the brightly colored part of the a flower so why they are in bright colors and if you see they have nice fragrance very nice fragrance 
So what, what is the reason for the fragrance and the bright color of the petals? It is to attract the insects. So why attracting the insects is important for the flower? Yes dear children, it is important to, for pollination. What is pollination and how it is done? You will study in higher classes. Now this part which is remaining with us is the most important part of the flower. Here in this flower we can see both the male and the female parts. So that is why this is a shoe flower is a bisexual flower. There are unisexual flowers also like in case of cucumber and papaya. So if you see cucumber and papaya flowers are unisexual flowers whereas shoe flower is a bisexual flower. What do, what do you mean by bisexual flower? Bisexual flower means where we can see both male and the female parts in the same flower. So where, which is the male, which is the female for that you need to see. So I will separate it out and show you. So whenever we are separating we have to use this needle and make fine cuts and we have to be very careful because these are very delicate parts. So you see children, I have separated one part from where I can show you the male parts of the flower. Now you see here hair like structure, lot of hair like structure with yellow color balls. Again the color of this will vary from flower to flower. Okay, This hair like structure with the balls is the male part of the flower known as stamen. So how will you remember the word stamen in the flower that it is a male part? So spelling of stamen is S-T-A-M-E-N. So what does the stamen mean? How it is ending? M-E-N. Men means what? Male gender. Isn't it children? So that male gender is the stamen. Here also stamen it is ending with M-E-N. So it is the male gender. Now you see I have separated and the two different parts of the stamen. Now you see this yellow color part ball like structure it is anther and this hair thin hair like structure is the filament. Here we can see both anther and filament together. which is very delicate see the hair like structure and the anther. So together these two anther and filament together they form the male part called stamen. Now you see children how small this anther is, isn't it? It is very light, it is very, it is very light this anther. You see it is in sticking to my needle, it is sticky and it is light. Can you see anther sticking to the needle children? Yes. So this anther contains even inside this anther, the, there are more finer particles and they are known as pollen grains. So what are the pollen grains? They are the male gamage. Okay. They are the male gamage. So that means they give the male characteristic. Okay. So inside one anther there would be many pollen grains. So how pollen grains are important that also you will study in the higher classes. Now let us come to the female part. So in one flower you see there are many male parts, many stamens are there. Isn't it? It is not one stem and it is present. So the more the stem and are there, the more the probability of pollination increases. Isn't it? So see how many stamens are there. I have to separate them carefully. Then only I will be able to see the female part. It is well protected. So well protected in nature. So that because flowers are already delicate. So it is very well protected. You see how many coverings are there. Isn't it? 
So, whenever you are doing at home you can use a safety pin for this work and you have to be very careful that you should not harm the uh, break, break the flower at, at, at the same time you should not harm yourself also you should not get poked, poked up is not it. So, if you are doing do it under parental guidance only children. So, now you see here this is the female part ok. The part which you can see here is the female part ok it contains of three things. On the top you can see the sticky pad like structure ok. The sticky pad like structure is known as stigma ok stick ma remember ma is coming ok then this thin white tube like structure is known as style. So, who is more stylish at your home mummy or papa mummy right. So, remember that that is how you have to remember ok. Then here the bulged part is the ovary. So, the stigma style and ovary together are they together these three parts form the female reproductive organ called pistil or carpal both are one and the same ok. So, the stigma it is sticky see now I told you about anther is not it anther is very light it contains even finer particles called pollen grains which are male gametes. So, either due to the wind or due to the insects when they stick to the insect they will stick on this they will sit on the stigma and they will get stuck here. So, this see the anther gets stuck to the needle so easily they stick to the legs of the insects or by wind. So, when they sit on the stigma they will get st stuck here on the stigma and then this anther will burst and release pollen grains. So, pollen grains are even finer you cannot see them through naked eye that pollen grain will form a pollen tube and through that pollen tube the other pollens would enter the style and through this they will reach the ovary inside the ovary. Now, like inside anther you have the male gametes pollen grain inside the ovary you have the female gamete called eggs or ovum ovule sorry ok. So, in inside one ovary there would be many eggs or ovules understood. So, the these are the different parts of the flower and uh, which will help in the reproduction through sexual reproduction in plants. So, wherever the sexual reproduction in plants is happening it is because of this reproductive part called flower. Ok children now if you want to see ovary whenever we want to see ovary we have to do a cross section or a transverse section which will be shown by sir. Good morning students just now madam explained you about the typical flower in which at all general parts are will be there ok like petals sepals which you can see from outside. Whereas now, just now we have discussed about the male part and female part of the flower ok. Female part already madam told you about the stigma style ovary ok it is a pistil. So, usually what happens in the ovary the seeds grow the fruit which we eat you know actually it is a <coughs> ovary ok. So, in that seeds are there you might have seen in many fruits inside seeds will be there. The seeds are nothing but ovule ok. When you come to the higher class you will come to know different types of fruits ok. Now, this is the style I am going to remove with the help of a sharp blade you do not attempt yourself ok. It is quite sticky this is the only ovary. So, if I take a suppose if I give a stroke like this we will get a transverse section. So, like it will be easy for you to see whenever your mother bring 
ladies finger you just try to see in that seeds you will find and some compartment also compartments means partitions inside it is naturally nicely arranged seeds they are nothing but ovules so if you give a strike this stroke like this so like this in you can see inside the ovary you will find the ovules so i will try to show you under the microscope using a stain you remember that stain saffron and stain we used to show you the stem conducts water okay now i have given a transverse i have taken on transverse section so what i do is i will take a clean slide and with a sharp blade i will try to take a section and i will transfer it to a watch glass containing the stain why i am using stain you know this ovule and ovary are of almost same color creamy color so i will try to differentiate by staining it so like this if i give a stroke so it will get stained let us see how it looks like of course in under the microscope it will be quite clear it is sticky it will not easily getting detached see this is about the transverse section okay best thing is lady finger if you take no you will get clear idea about this this may not be much clear here in this plant the reproduction is not taking place through this seeds okay that's why seeds are not seen here the what we call it as ovules still i will try to show you how the transverse section comes so same way in your book there is another section longitudinal section it is called longitudinal section so for that we have to give a stroke in lengthwise longitudinal means lengthwise so i am going to separate this see only part of longitudinal section is shown with the ovules in your book so i also try to do that by giving a stroke like this so just i will cut open now i will try to show you the this is ovary with ovule inside so this is also light cream color you may not be able to see this decrease sir hmm? see in center part you see it is little dark in color cream with light yellow color this is actually the ovule so let us see how it looks like when we take a transverse section so for that i have taken a slide here and i am trying to transfer it to this watch glass uh, from watch glass to the slide this is a transverse section of ovary now i will focus under the microscope okay this is a microscope the things which we can see in naked eye can be magnified and seen this is called simple microscope or dissecting microscope 
So, one more microscope is there that is called compound microscope. Okay. Simple means very simple. So, already you can see just to magnify that we are using one lens here. This is uh, magnifying 20 times than its original size. So, for that we require a light to get the uh, focus the this one. So, I have set here. See what you see you know when a lady finger you cut you know transverse section you can see the balls like structure they are nothing but ovules they are grow into seeds. Same thing here also you can see I have kept it under microscope. So, we will try to get a image of that because what I could see through this you may not be able to see because we are doing the uh, video of this you may not be able to see that we will try to show you by taking a snap this image of this. Okay. So, I think you have understood this seeds what are there they are the modified part of ovules ovules. Okay. Okay, children. Huh?